Welcome back to The Whole Scoop. Joining me now are four remarkable young men and women, part of the team workers at the Hattie Cafes. It's my pleasure to introduce you to Var Cunningham from the Library Cafe, Sandy Smith from the Hudson Cafe, Tim Evans from the Brown Street Cafe, and Erica Shelton from the Hudson Gift Gallery. Welcome to you all. Thank you. Var, let's start with you. What are your job duties at the cafe? My job duties are I welcome the customers to Hattie's mm -hmm. and I take them to a table and I give them a menu and I serve their drinks and their food mm -hmm. and, and after, the, after they're done then I then I hope that they come back to Hattie's. How do your family and friends feel about you working at the cafe? My family loves them working at Hattie's. Even my mom, my sister, yeah. and my niece and nephew. Excellent. One more. You were a part of a very special ceremony at the library cafe when it opened, the ribbon cutting ceremony. Can you tell me a little bit about that day? I'm glad I was part of cutting the ribbon. I'm glad I got to be there. I, I'm, I'm glad that I got to meet new people and there were scissors about this big. <laughs> and, and I'm gonna miss Mary because she hired me at the library Hattie's Cafe, and I love my co-workers, and I enjoy being at Hattie's. That's great. Thanks, Mark. You're welcome. Erica, I know you're a major part of the gift shop and gift baskets. Can you tell me what you do here each day? First, when I come in, I clean off tables, I fill the napkins. Um, and then I go downstairs in my own territory and make baskets for the people. Okay. What is your favorite part about the gift baskets? Making them up mm -hmm. and putting stuff in them. Okay. And putting the pretty bows on them. At the end of the day, how do you feel about working here at Hattie's Cafe? Um, I like it. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Tim, you're one of the original workers hired at the cafe, and you have worked at all three cafes. Yes. What are the differences between each of the cafes? I think mm -hmm. the difference between each cafe is the environment, the staff, and especially the customers, because you never really know what you're going to get with the customers. So you could come in and be extremely goofy and you know, then sometimes extremely sad, all, all at the same time. You never, you never know what you're going to get. It's kind of like a lollipop. <laughs> okay. Do you think you've learned new skills here at the cafe? Uh, yes, I have. I've, uh, I've learned how to uh, master the cappuccino machine. Um, I've also learned, like, new sandwiches, making, making all the sandwiches, new stuff. Um, just pretty much stuff like that. Okay, so tell me, Tim, how is Tim today different than the Tim who first started working at the Hudson Cafe? Well, the difference between um, the Tim that uh, worked there now is I've learned to be a, a now I've learned to be a much better leader, and I've helped learned how to help people who need need help in the cafe. Thanks. Thank you, Sandy. What is your favorite part of your job at the cafe? Customers coming in and saying, welcome to Hattie's, would do uh, like menus, and I like greeting them, and uh, they talk to me, I talk to them, and I like um, giving them their foods and their drinks, and little kids will come in and give me high five, and. Mm -hmm. Um, they'll tell me I'm cute and stuff and they give me hugs and they always tell me I do a good job. Okay. 
What is it you want people to know about your work here at Hattie's Cafe? Uh, I want people to see me as being high function, and um, I just want everybody to know that I do a good job. I like it here, and I did the workshop, and that uh, I just want people to be proud, and I just like to make them happy. I'm just a friendly person. Great. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you. Gar, Tim, and Erica. Thank you, Bill. You've been an inspiration to all of us at Hattie Larlam, and keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. We'll return to The Whole Scoop in just a few minutes. Welcome back to The Whole Scoop. Joining us now are Roger and Sandy Whitmer, the parents of Stephanie, who is a participant in the Constant Companions program in Green. Welcome to all of you. Thank you. Thank well, you. you're welcome. Let me start with you, Sandy. Uh, question, how long has Stephanie been in the Constant Companions program? Well, she joined Constant Companions in Green in uh, March of 2007 mm -hmm. at the beginning of the program. Okay. How did you learn about the program? Well, I have a good friend who is a service coordinator for Summit County MRDD, mm -hmm. and she called me up and said that she heard that they were starting a new program, and it involved animals, and she knew that Stephanie loved animals. So um, she invited us to an informational meeting, and we, Steph and I, went and um, listened to what they had to say and talked about it afterwards and decided we were very interested, and so Stephanie went on a short interview um, right there at the informational meeting and and was chosen to be in constant companions are you and sandy happy with the outcomes of the program and stephanie's involvement in it oh absolutely the the program's absolutely uh, perfect for steph she's an animal lover uh, there's socialization for her with with the other participants the staff is very professional and good good communicators mm -hmm. and uh, it's just been perfect for her. Roger, let me ask you another question. As a parent, when you walk into the Constant Companions program, what is your initial feeling? Well, when you walk in, first of all, you it looks like you're walking in somebody's home. It's clean. There's sofas everywhere. You're walking into somebody's home that loves animals. There's a lot of uh, furry creatures walking around and uh, you'll see busy uh, participants uh, doing their little their chores whatever they've been given that day and uh, you just see a, a, an excellent excellent atmosphere for for my daughter to be in. Can you tell us a story or something that really sticks out in your mind about the Constant Companions program? I'll, I'll give you my first impression because it was so uh, I expected good things, but I didn't expect as good. Uh, when I walked in, as I said before, it looked like a home. It was well lit. The animals were clean. The place was clean. The staff came out to greet me, introduce themselves. I was introduced to animals. I was introduced to friends that she had made. Uh, just the friendly, uh, loving atmosphere I, I enjoyed. And it was such a contrast, it, it, I guess is my point, uh, from where she was before, uh, that I was just floored by it all. Let's do a follow-up to that. Okay. What changes have you seen in Stephanie since she's been in Constant Companions? Well, I, I tell you, uh, I, I don't think I've ever seen her happy. She's a happy person, but she is a happier person. She has a place to go every day that she feels needed, that uh, she feels welcome, and uh, it's safe, it, it's clean, uh, it's just a great place for her to go every day. We have excellent communication, so I feel safe getting her there and getting her home. Great, great. Stephanie, can I ask you a question? Sure. What do you like about Constant Companions? I like everything, uh, the people there, the animals, uh, go, going on the trips, uh, 
the ladies that are with us. I like Deb. I really love Rick. He's funny. Uh, I like Rick's uh, uncle's band that come once a month. Um, and uh, that's that's most of what I, I like about the uh, program. Okay. Um, do you have a favorite animal? At yes, Constant? I have two. Yeah. Who are they? What are they? Rocky, a kitty. Yeah. He, when we got him when he was a little kitten, and uh, we were thinking of names for him, and I think. The name before that was Tuxie because he looks like he's got a tuxedo because he's gray and white. But I decided, when I was rocking him, and he loved, I, I was holding him like this, and and he he loved it. And I said, well, he likes to be rocked. Let's call him Rocky. And he is a very sweet kitty. I was holding him this afternoon. He was letting me just rub his belly, and he's real friendly. And he never scratches whenever I pick him up and rock him. Because he lo still loves to be rocked like a baby. And my other favorite uh, animal is a guinea pig named Buddy. Named Buddy? Yes. Okay. The real name is Bud period E period pig, but we call him Buddy. <laughs> I didn't name him. They named him. Okay. I wanted to name him Barry. <laughs> and I, I, I love him because he's a sweet guinea pig, and he loves to give me kisses, and he loves to lay on me, and he... His new thing right now is going up my shoulder, up, up into my neck, up my shirt sleeve. And he likes to do that. Excellent. Mm -hmm. what, do you, um, what do you do to take care of the animals? I help brush the kitties. Like, okay. We have this big furry kitty named Callie, who's a calico kitty. And I help brush her, and I brush a couple of the other kitties. and uh, I brush Rocky. Rocky likes to be brushed. And uh, when I brush the kitties, sometimes we get a little scratches from the kitties. Mm -hmm. I bet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Callie right. is a hard sometimes to brush because she uh, wants to play with the brush. It's pretty funny. Good for you. And uh, I, I help pick up the toys. And um, I also um, help feed them their snacks. and I feed the guinea pigs sometimes their carrots and they take them right out of my hands and eat them. That's great. You have a wonderful day, don't you? Mm -hmm. you, you really enjoy yourself. Yeah, the day we helped, we did decorate for, uh, for next month for Halloween and all that. Mm -hmm. And Rocky got up a ladder and uh, he jumped on the ladder and he would not want to get down. And then he was meowing because he could not get down. And I had to get him down. Okay, mm -hmm. super. Well, Stephanie, I want to thank you for being here with us. Roger, Sandy, thank, thank you. you as well. Appreciate your coming in. Thank you. Today's show was just a glimpse at another unique opportunity for people with disabilities. We encourage our viewers to come and visit the program and become involved. Our staff are always looking for ways to improve and enhance the service they're providing to people with disabilities each day. We welcome your comments and questions through email at thewholescoop at hattielarlam.org or call the Media Productions Department at 1-800-233-8611, extension 3172. The Whole Scoop will be aired on this channel every month on the second and fourth Saturday at 9.30 a.m. or you can find it on Time Warner Cable On Demand. Clips of this show will be available on the Hattie Larlam website tied into YouTube. We thank you for joining us and look forward to seeing you again next month on The Whole Scoop. From Hattie's Cafe in Gifts in Hudson, I'm Dennis Allen. I wish you God's peace.